This is the first demo of the translation management module for Drupal. The purpose of this module is to help organize and manage translation jobs, mainly for large, busy Drupal sites. Let's just get started. The heart of the module is the translation dashboard. From here, content administrators can see the status of translations and send jobs to translation. The first part of the screen is a display filter. I can choose to show documents that are written in certain languages and being translated to other languages. Right now I'm displaying documents written in English, translated to all languages. And I can display all the documents or just the ones that need translating or the ones that are being translated right now or jobs that are completed. And of course the regular Drupal uh, filtering by the publishing state or by the content type. But this is a good uh, opportunity to mention that the translation dashboard shows everything. For instance, it shows the standard uh, data types and CCK and contact forms and blocks and even strings. Basically, it displays everything. You don't need to go to any other place to manage translations for the site. Here, for each document, we get an overview of the translation status. For instance, let's look at this, this uh, document. That's the name of it. It's a custom type that we've defined, published, and it's translated and up-to-date to Spanish and to German. This document here is being translated right now. And this document needs translation. Okay, so let's send it to translation. And let's send another one. Maybe this one. Here we can choose which translators to, to assign the job to. The default is to be the first available translator. We can also add translators here. I'll talk about translators in a different, uh, different demo, but the module adds a distinct uh, translator role. This means that a translator can just translate and you choose the languages to translate between. So I'll send this to translation now. And we're done. Now let's see, let's see what translators see. This is the translation job list for a translator. The translator user is called oh, sorry. The translator user is called Orit. And here I can see all the jobs that are pending for this translator. I've chosen to, show, to send the jobs to the first available translator. So any translator that goes in will see these jobs. This translator is enabled to translate from English to Spanish and German, so he gets all the jobs. For instance, there are some completed jobs here, some that are in progress, and some that need doing. If you remember, these are the documents that I've just sent. I sent a document called Migrating Ducks to translate from English to Spanish and English to German. And here is where I do the translation. So let's edit. And we landed at the unified translation editing screen in the module. Unified because everything we translate will go to exactly this page. The only that the page updates for different content types. Every field appears in a different box. 
and we can move from one field to the other. I'll just do a very simple translation now. It's not really translation. And I'll mark this field as translation finished. I'm going to the next field and the next one and the next one and the next one. So now the document is fully translated. And I can see it here in my list. And if I select only the jobs that are not done, it would go away. I can also translate the next document and the next one. Let's go back to what the admin sees. So we just translated migrating ducks, remember? Before we sent, it's in progress, translation in progress. Let's see what happens after we updated it. And now our mi migrating ducks still needs to be translated to German, but it's already translated into Spanish. And we can see the public page. And here is our lovely Spanish translation. So the nice thing is that we used our unified translation entry page and the translator doesn't need to understand if he's translating CCK entry or document body or document title because he's just translating everything in the same place. Same goes for blocks and for even for a contact form or for strings. The translator does all the editing here in this page like we just did and the translations get sent and saved in the cor correct place in Drupal. So now the translator doesn't need to learn Drupal in order to translate for us. All he or she needs to do is go to the list of jobs, translate them, complete, and that's it. Thanks for watching!